Hey everyone, I just got back from an excursion to the Lush store here in San Antonio. If you do live in San Antonio, we actually have a physical Lush store. It is at North Star Mall, if you are familiar with that. So that is where I went. It's the only one we have in town. And the weather is finally turning a bit cooler. We're expecting rainy weather. It's perfect bath weather for me. And it's been a good three or four years since I've done a Lush haul. And so I thought I was well overdue. I am going to start with what I know for sure. So um, I would tell you, if you don't know what you want when you walk into a Lush store, don't ask a sales associate because they will sell you everything in the store. They love everything in there. They are passionate about every product and they will convince you to walk out with pretty much everything in the store. Kind of what happened today. Anyway, um, I was always intrigued by the Rose Argon body conditioner that they have there, but I don't really love the smell of roses. And I told them that, and so they introduced me to African Paradise. It's a big tub, and it's a body conditioner. It says, take a trip to paradise with this softening body conditioner full of our favorite ingredients from Africa. It, it's, it's basically a moisturizer that you put on in the shower and rinse off. I love this concept. I have one from Oil of Olay, or Olay, I guess they call them now. I have one like that. I had one from Nivea. Um, this is a lot richer, and it smells really good. I'm not even gonna try it. Yes, I am. I'm going to try to open it. It doesn't look particularly nice, but anyway, this is a lot richer, a lot more moisturizing, and smells a heck of a lot better. I love using this in the winter because I hate nothing more than getting out of a hot, steamy shower into freezing cold winter temperature bathroom, and then having to slap on moisturizer over your goosebumps. So I can do that in the shower and skip that step and be all cozy in my robe much more quickly. This was a guilt trip. They totally guilted me into this. Uh, I picked up the smallest version I could find of the Charity Pot. It's hand and body lotion. She even gave me a little demonstration. She massaged in my hand. My Actually, this was a few hours ago and my skin just still feels really smooth. So it's a great product. If you're not familiar with the concept, Lush does what's called a Charity Pot. It's a hand and body lotion. And every, I don't know if it's every year, every season, all of the proceeds go to support the charity that this supports. So this one is against fur, basically, fur bear defenders. So um, they're trying to stop the fur industry. I guess I'm not gonna get into the politics. It's a good hand and body lotion and it smells nice and it does the job and it's lovely and I'm gonna keep this by my bedside. Um, so there you go. Okay, hey. now <laughs> to the fun stuff. Let's see what we have here. I am referring to the catalog if you're wondering what I'm looking at. The first thing I'm going to show you are bath bombs, which I wasn't, I've never bought a bath bomb before. I'm more of a bubble girl. But bath bombs, you basically pop them in the bath and there's a lot of sodium bicarbonate and they're fizzy and they release colors and different things and there's a very effervescent and it also kind of makes the water soft, it scents it, and um, I think they can moisturize the skin a little bit too depending on what you get. So I got Twilight, which looks like this. The things with bath bombs is, usually this is a one-use thing. So this was, this is a big splurge. You can sometimes cut them in half, I've been told, but a lot of the bath bombs have things on the inside, so you don't want to do that. So Twilight, they say it's a blend of lavender and Tonka bath. I don't know why I'm smelling this, it's so mean. I like the concept of lavender, but I find a pure lavender very overpowering and just more than I can handle. But this is a very mild lavender, so if you're not a big fan of lavender but you want something calming before bedtime, this is great. And um, apparently it makes the sky, it makes the water look like the night sky. I don't know. It doesn't turn the water pink. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. That's kind of cool. And then I got the Avo Bath. Looks like that. It has something printed on it. I guess it says Lush. This smells, oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this. This smells like lemongrass. It smells like lemongrass. And this is a combination of, it's supposed to soften, it has a little bit of a bath melt to it too. It softens your skin a little bit. Um, uplift your spirits with lemongrass and bergamot. Bergamot, bergamot, I don't know. While avocado and olive oil nourish the skin. So I would use this. I like to take baths under two different scenarios. One is if I'm relaxing and chilling out, getting ready for bed, whatever, this would not be the scent I would go for. Or I've already showered, I've washed my hair and done all that, and then I'm going out for the evening and I wanna kind of freshen up. I'll put my hair up and take a refreshing bath. So this is definitely what I would grab for that. 
There is um, avocado in here, extra virgin olive oil, lemongrass oil, bergamot or whatever that is, rosewood oil, and a variety of other oils and, and chemicals. So if you're looking for purely natural, Lush is not your friend. Okay, I was going to get the Ickle Baby Bot, but it smelled like feet. I think their batch was off. That's a little tiny bath time kind of melty soother. Then I got this. This is a bath melt. And these are fragrance and basically are like dissolvable lotion. I mean, it just makes your skin all creamy and smooth and lovely. And this, I could cut in half for sure. This is the mmm, melting marshmallow moment. And this um, smells like marshmallows. It has coconut butter and olive, almond oil in it. And just, I can, you can combine that with a bomb or a bar. Now onto my favorite, the bubble bars. If you like a bubble bath with lots of foam and lots of bubbles and really lovely scent, Lush just hands down nails this. This is their, I think, their best thing that they do. And my favorite thing that they make is this guy. This is the Comforter Bath, Comforter Bubble Bar, as opposed to Bobble Bar, which is where I got this and this, but we'll talk about that later. This I can definitely break up at least into three bits, if not four. That's how foamy and bubbly it is. This smells like black currant, which basically means it's fruity and kind of sweet. It says it releases the comforting aromas of cassis, absolute, and cypress oil. I don't know what that smells like, but this is sweet and fruity and very foamy and bathy and lovely and bubbly. And then I also got like the sister to it. And this one is called Brightside. And it has all kinds of, it has three types of citrus oils, very zesty and orangey and um, what's in here? Mandarin oil, tangerine oil, and that pesky bergamot oil that I don't know how to say. <sighs> Love this. Okay. Feeling awake, just smelling it. I also couldn't pass this one up. It's Karma. How could you skip Karma? Karma's coming for you. So I got Karma. This is an orange haze of heady scents, it's called. And it's patchouli and sweet orange bubbles. So the straight up patchouli one was just a little too stoner for me. But this one has a very nice blend. This could be relaxing or uplifting. Then I got this guy. This is the, what is this? <laughs> this is from the holiday collection, so it's not in the catalog. So this one is probably Candy Mountain Bubble Bar. And if you're familiar with Snow Fairy, um, it's just a very sweet vanilla-y flavor and there's glitter all over this sucker and now all over me. And then I also got this little guy. This is the wizard, and this is already also from the holiday collection. This has more of a, I'm gonna get this wrong, but I wanna say it has sort of a cinnamony, spicier scent. A little bit, not so sweet as the other ones. And again, this guy is covered with glitter, and he's also a bubble bar, I think. And then the last thing I got was the magic wand bar oh it has a bell and this is a reusable bubble bar you can swish this under the running water or through the tub and this is that snow fairy kind of vanilla -y candy scent um, you can use this they said four or five times this will last me through the winter season i highly doubt that i will be going back to lush within the next year but this is what i got so if you have any questions suggestions of what i should get next time i'd love to hear from you as always please leave your comments in the comment section below i do read all of them and i answer all of them the only one if you have a question the only ones i don't respond to are if you are not registered on google plus i cannot respond to your questions and inevitably those are the questions I really want to answer. So please, if you're not signed up with Google+, go do it. It's free. I don't exactly know how, but there are tutorials on how to do that. If you just, in the search bar up there somewhere, put um, how to get Google+. And um, that way we can, we can chit-chat. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. I'm going to go run a bath. Hey everyone, I am here to show you two collections from Zoya. I apologize, I let one whole collection go by and then I got another one and I figured let's combine them into one giant video.